Speaking of scientists, I have a guest here with me today that can tell us a lot more about climate change, Josh Willis. Now, you're an oceanographer here at JPL, correct? Well, I'm an oceanographer, but I study sea level rise and global warming and really how the ocean fits into that whole global warming picture. Okay, Josh, some people have questioned whether sea level is really continuing to rise or whether it's accelerating and what that tells us about the warming of the planet. Well, sea level is definitely rising. There's really no debate about that. Almost anywhere you look in the world, global sea level is rising. Uh, the volume of the ocean is increasing. Um, and this has been going on for at least 100 years. That we know really without a doubt. Um, and if you look back in time, it turns out that sea level was actually pretty stable over the last 2,000 years. So we've had about 2,000 years that we have decent measurements, not the best, but, but pretty good measurements. And we know that global sea level has been pretty stable during this time. There were a few ups and downs, but at the end of the record, global sea level began to rise. In the last 100, 200 years, it's begun to rise very, very quickly. We know from tide gauges that global sea level has increased by about 20 centimeters in the last 130, 150 years. That's the time when we have really good observations. And we can see that this is much faster than any global rise that could have happened over the previous couple thousand years. So we're beginning to get this emerging picture of a sea level hockey stick. In fact, Sea level was very constant during our stable period of climate over most of the last 10,000 years. And then in the last 100, 150 years, it's begun to rise. And it's begun to rise quickly, and it's begun to accelerate. In fact, the best estimates of global sea level rise, even in the last 100 years, suggest that it's going faster and faster. So we've gone from one millimeter per year 100 years ago to two millimeters per year about 50 years ago to three millimeters per year today. What's going to happen to the sea level rise? In the 20th century, the sea rose about eight inches. If you do the arithmetic, it's about two millimeters a year. Is that a huge change? No. Can we deal with it? Yes. Did we? Yes. Was it a big deal? No. OK, that's cool. But what's going to happen in the future? Well, what's going to happen in the future we're already up to three, three and a half millimeters. That doesn't sound like that much, but you know, again, do the arithmetic. That's a 50% increase in what the rate of rise was we saw in the 20th century. My name's Jason Box. I've presented here at the AGU meeting a 200-year reconstruction of Greenland ice sheets, sea level contribution. What I'm finding is that the recent increase in Greenland sea level contribution um, is at a, at a steeper rate than, than and that at a time in the last 200 years. That's consistent with um, climate uh, warming that, that has been um, accelerating uh, in, in the recent decades. So this picture of an emerging hockey stick in global sea level rise uh, is becoming clearer and clearer. And without a doubt, it's linked to global warming and human-caused climate change. Why is that? Well, as the water warms and 85 to 90 percent of all the heat, the excess heat, has gone into the ocean, it goes to warm the water. What do warm things do compared to cold things? They expand. They get bigger. The ocean's getting bigger. So that's part of the sea level rise. We know the ocean's going to continue to take up heat, and this causes thermal expansion. That's a part of sea level rise. Uh, and in the next hundred years, it'll still be important. But the big question is the ice sheets. Are they going to collapse? And these glaciers are starting to fall apart much faster than anybody, even two years ago, thought they were going to do there. So this is going to be a huge issue. If, if, if we talk 10 years from now, my, my, my expectation is that um, Greenland's will, will be losing um, roughly double what it is now. And potentially, we can see the seas coming up somewhere between three and six feet in the 21st century. Eight inches in the 20th century, 
three to six feet in the 21st century. It may be as little as one foot in the next hundred years, and it may be as high as six feet in the next hundred years. It's probably going to be in that range somewhere, and our best estimate is about three feet. Uh, so the revised predictions for end of century sea level rise are above one meter, um, and so that's actually three times greater than than, they, than the sea level rise projections were um, just four years ago. The big question is the ice sheets. Are they going to collapse? Are they going to begin causing sea level rate rise rates of a centimeter per year? Uh, this seems possible given the history of our climate. The danger is that we could get enough warming and begin to start the melting processes on the West Antarctic Ice Sheet and the Greenland Ice Sheet and cause those to become unstable and get a situation where it's out of our control. I think we're getting very close to that. I think just looking at the Earth's history, the last time that ice sheets uh, disintegrated was 14,000 years ago. Sea level went up 20 meters in 400 years. So that's one meter every 20 years, or five meters a century. And that would be incredibly disastrous. The question is, is it going to happen tomorrow? Is it going to happen in 20 years, 50 years, 100 years? We just don't know. So there's a lot of uncertainty. But what we know without a doubt is that sea level rise in 2100, sea level is going to be higher in 2100 than it is today. There's a pretty clear trend, uh, and we know we're going to have higher sea levels. How high? We're still working on it. You know what? That was beautiful, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to ask you to do it again. Okay. <laughs> because because I, I don't think I got any of it. Oh. <laughs>